All right, I'm going to make this, uh, try to make this video as uh, short as possible, but I want to kind of get through a lot of information. I think as you can tell from the state of my uh, Phantom Advance, Phantom 3 Advance, uh, what this video is going to be about. And uh, had a, uh, a crash just a few days ago, and uh, I picked up a, uh, a fourth battery. I uh, realized how much I had invested in the battery, so I wanted them to last as long as possible. One thing that's going to harm a LiPo battery probably the most uh, is going to be if it's kept in a fully charged state for a long duration. So I went into the Pilot app and uh, set the auto discharge at three days and uh, had fully charged the batteries. Didn't realize that that three days had gone by. Uh, took it out uh, one evening to get photographs or excuse me, to get some video and uh, check the battery and uh, realized that it was at, turns out to be 61%. Uh, that's when it dawned on me that the auto discharge kicked in. Uh, I was already out there. Uh, I had flow, I've flown with uh, batteries that low before without any issue. Don't do it very often, but I have done it. And uh, just thought, well, I'm gonna run through about 30% doing this particular flight, so it'll be just fine. Uh, it was about 35 degrees out Fahrenheit, uh, but the batteries were stored in the bag. Bag was in my house, uh, then in the car. Car was 72 degrees. Uh, only had the batteries outside for five minutes or so. Uh, and you'll see from these reports that it uh, wasn't that cold. So. Uh, put the battery in. Uh, IMU had to warm up the aircraft for about 45 seconds. I, uh, everything was okay. Everything was green. Took off to about 10 feet or so. Uh, hovered for just a few seconds. There were people maybe 30 feet away. I talked to them before I launched, but I still wanted to go ahead and get the Phantom up just a little bit higher to be safe. And uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and take it up to about 30 feet and uh, hover it there while I check some, some settings. So uh, I, ha I have the uh, logs that I upload to Healthy Drones. Uh, if you have not seen this website, I definitely would recommend that you check it out. And uh, it takes your logs that you store on your device and uh, it breaks everything down, gives you a very nice layout of all the details. I mean, just tons of information. So. I highly recommend uh, that you look at Healthy Drones if you've not looked at it already. It's HealthyDrones.com. So anyway, uh, according to this information, it's gone up to uh, 40, about 45 feet. Uh, I'm watching it. It's at night, and all of a sudden, everything just turns off. I'm not 100% sure the battery turned off. It was happened rather quickly, but definitely all of the motors just shut down. All the lights on the drone went off dropped and uh, hit the pavement and you can receive you can see where the results are there so uh, like I said I uploaded the uh, the logs to healthy drones and uh, you'll see the maximum altitude was a 45 feet on this I'll make a, I'll put a link in the description below this video and uh, this particular log is available for public use if you want to take a look at it and uh, you can see the battery was at 61 percent the flight time was, was uh, 12 seconds, and the battery temperature stated it was 50 degrees Fahrenheit uh, the entire time. There's no error logs uh, at all in this. Uh, part of it is going to be on the condition in the cells of the battery. Flip into that page real quick here. And... Uh, so when you take a look at this on the website, you'll see that a few of these numbers are going to be in red. Uh, but the deviation is really not that great. And also, uh, and even this description points out, uh, this is only accurate if you get several minutes uh, worth of usage out of the uh, battery. I can tell you, you can see I, I, I upload pretty much everything, all of my logs, and I look at them after I fly to verify whether or not there's any errors. Uh, I've flown with this particular battery many times. I've checked it many times. Uh, never had an issue with it, so I don't think that that was an issue. So, posted this information on a, uh, a, a Phantom form and uh, read some of those replies that got me searching other websites. 
And it seems like, at least right now, more and more people are having an issue where everything just turns off the phantom and it falls out of the sky. So uh, I can't say for sure what causes that. Uh, but I, I'll tell you kind of what I've developed an opinion about. Uh, let, let me first say this, that uh, I don't necessarily blame anyone for what happened. DJI recommends that you only fly the battery uh, when it's fully charged. Uh, I almost always do that. I know that it should be done. Uh, but still, and I think the point is, is that there really is no reason why you should not be able to fly the Phantom with a battery at 60% charge. If that's a problem, then DJ either should give you a warning or maybe even just lock that out if indeed it is a problem. But uh, how I've flown at that be uh, at, at lower charge before is I've flown it at 100%, landed, turned it off, checked a few things, and then turned it back on and launched from there. And uh, I've also even taken the battery down to approximately 20%, landed, turned it off. Uh, determined that I wanted to discharge that battery down to 8%, which you should do every 20 cycles, and uh, launch the Phantom again, just at about 5 feet, and hovered it uh, till it's down to about 8% landed without any problem. So I've done that many, well, I, I've done it several times. Uh, not ever really been an issue. I would imagine a lot of people have flown at less than 100% without any issues. Uh, so... Here's kind of my take from what I could gather from my experience and apply it to what other people posted. I think it could be one of two problems. Uh, it could be this, that when you discharge a battery, especially when it's in discharge mode, I should say, uh, and then you don't charge it up, that perhaps it's giving a false reading as, a, as far as the amount of charge on the battery. It's, it says you have a good charge or a decent charge, my case 60%, but as soon as you put it in and power up the drone, give it some power, it, it, it realizes that it doesn't have that power and it, and it turns off. I don't, I don't think it should turn off, but that could be what happened. Uh, I think more likely, and this is just my opinion, uh, is that there might be a problem with the, with the firmware for the auto discharge. Uh, I think... What this may be is that if your battery goes into auto discharge and you fail to put it back on the charger and you put it in the Phantom, that something goes wrong there and it, it just turns off the battery after a short while. Uh, I really can't come up with any other reason why the battery should just fail when it's registering or showing 60% uh, charge in my case. Uh, so, here's what my recommendation would be given uh, that this may be an issue. I would recommend that you always charge the battery before you fly. Uh, that way you can be sure that if it is an auto discharge problem that that is corrected by the charge process. Also, and you should always charge up your batteries anyway before you fly. But just make sure you put it on the charger, and I would recommend that you charge it up to 100% before you fly. That way you get away from that situation if indeed that is a problem. The other thing that I would recommend, maybe to a lesser degree, is, is that you don't turn the auto discharge down to three or four days. I, I'm going to recommend, or it's my opinion, that you should probably set it at 10 days and try to avoid that situation. What I'm going to do... Uh, and I have one for my Vision Plus, is I'm going to go ahead and buy one of those dischargers. You can find them on eBay, a lot of websites, that you plug it in, turn it on, has a battery, excuse me, has a uh, bulb, and that bulb discharges the battery, but it doesn't use the auto discharge process. doesn't go into that uh, particular mode. You turn the battery on, and it draws a current, so it keeps the battery on, and the circuitry in that device takes it down to a 20%, uh, roughly 20%, and then you can even go to 8% and discharge it that way. Uh, I would also recommend possibly that you avoid that auto discharge and set it to 10 days. You can't turn it off. 
set it to 10 days, and then uh, also buy one of those. So uh, if you do have any comments or any questions, feel free to leave that information below. And uh, again, I'll go ahead and post a link to my this particular log in Healthy Drones. If you want to comment about that, feel free to do so. Uh, you could tell me that, you know, you should charge up your batteries before you fly. DJI recommends it. I realize that. But then also keep in mind that I cannot come up with any good reason why you should not be able to fly with a battery that's at 60% charge. And if that should not be done or is an issue, then perhaps there should be some type of warning in the software that should let you fly at all if that's going to be an issue. But uh, so uh, I hope that that video, this video might be helpful to some people. Uh, I hope that this doesn't happen to other people. I, I'm not blaming anyone. I take responsibility upon myself for flying with a battery that wasn't at 100%. And uh, I consider it just uh, the nature of this hobby. Uh, gravity is always fly fighting against you, and these things can happen to anyone. So I uh, hope you got something from this video. And again, if you do have any comments or questions, leave, leave that information below.